find the energy of this signal x of t. The energy of a signal is a concept that arises in electrical engineering courses like signals and systems and communication. The energy is a standard quantity that measures the strength of a signal. Normally, we view the signal, in this case x of t, as the voltage across a 1 ohm resistor. Then, the energy of the signal, Ex, would be the energy dissipated in this 1 ohm resistor. OK, so how do we come up with a formula for energy? Well, we know that power is the rate of energy transfer, so energy must be the accumulation of power, that is, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the power, in this case, Px. And we know that power is defined as V squared over R. In this case, we're defining the voltage to be the signal X of t, and the resistance, by definition, is 1 ohm. So, this gives us the formula for the energy of the signal. It's equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the square of the signal. Now, we see that we have two separate definitions. It's a piecewise defined function. From negative 1 to 0, it's defined as a constant value 2. But from 0 all the way to infinity, it's this decaying exponential. 2 times e to the negative t over 2. The first integrand squared is 4, and the second integrand squared is 4 e to the negative t. And now we integrate. We get 4t from negative 1 to 0. And the second integral, well, technically it's improper, so we should really be taking the limit. But this is just implied here. We can just take the antiderivative and plug in infinity as a bound when the limit is implied as part of the process. This is engineering, not math, so formalities don't really matter here. We can plug in the bounds, giving us 4 as the first term, e to the 0 is 1, and e to the negative infinity is 0, or tends to 0, to be precise. And this works out to be 4 plus 4, which is 8. So the energy of the signal x of t shown in the graph is 8 joules. And that's the final answer.